Good morning. My name is Vicki MacArthur, and on behalf of World Accord, I'd like to welcome you to our first ever global solidarity meditation. It seems this pandemic is a chance for all of us to connect in new and creative ways. It allows us to expand our network to people and communities we usually wouldn't connect with. So this morning, we may have people from all across Canada, perhaps the United States, maybe even some of our partner countries around the world, tuning in either now or later, as all of these will be recorded. So welcome, everyone. Let's all take a deep collective breath, breathe in, and as you exhale, just feel yourself settling into the space where you find yourself, and perhaps settling into each other. You might like to imagine that we're all sitting in a circle together. I think we've all missed spending time like this together. So like many of you, I've been involved with World Accord for many years, and I really love the idea that World Accord is not just about giving a hand out, but a hand up. We develop partner relationships where we first learn to listen and learn from our partners about what is needed in their communities. And then we respond and work together towards sustainable development goals. And I've seen this firsthand. In 2012, I had the incredible opportunity to travel to Nepal, where World Accord partners with an amazing organization called Women for Peace and Democracy. WPD is an independent, nonprofit, woman led organization striving to empower women to build a peaceful and democratic Nepal. Shobha Threshna is the executive chair of WPD, and big shout out to Shobha this morning. Congratulations on the birth of your new baby granddaughter. What joyous news! So Shoba took us on an incredible tour to visit about 10 different villages. And we went all the way from the heights of Kathmandu to the plains of Chitwan and Janakpur, and then all the way up to Pokhara at the foot of the Himalayas. I saw firsthand how WPD is empowering women and young girls to be leaders in their communities through microloans to set up small businesses, as well as coming together in community support and education groups. I met many incredible women who are bravely facing multiple challenges of poverty, domestic violence, alcoholism, and even the outdated caste system. I was deeply touched by their stories and I vowed to make sure that their voices and stories are heard and supported. Before I traveled to Nepal, I had no idea of what to expect. I knew that World Accord provided microloans to women, and I knew a little bit about that, but I had no idea how empowering it is to bring these women together. I had no idea of who these women were what it would be like to actually meet them, to talk to them, to share a meal, to share music and dancing, to share smiles, to share tears, to actually look into their eyes and maybe into their souls. Now, despite the vast differences in our culture and backgrounds, as a woman, I can truly call them Didi which means sister. So this morning, I've been asked to guide a global solidarity meditation. That sounds like a lot of big words. I'm not sure I'm up to that. Because to me, meditation is fairly simple, not necessarily easy. 
And of course, there are many different kinds of meditation from simple mindfulness and moment to moment awareness of the breath to the complex and stunning visualizations of Vajrayana Buddhism and everything in between. There are many reasons for meditating, to calm the mind, to be in touch with the present moment, to be in touch with our feelings, to drop down beneath the surface of our thoughts, to discover our true self or no self, or maybe even get enlightened. Meditation can be done in many different positions, sitting, lying, standing or walking, while eating, while doing the dishes, even sleeping. Perhaps the real meditation is simply being present and bringing all of our attention to whoever or whatever is right in front of us. And perhaps this is what is most needed in this moment, where we find ourselves confronted by a tiny microscopic virus that is asking us to pay attention to the way we do everything, to how we live, the way we shop, the way we eat, the way we work, the way we take care of each other, the way we take care of the planet, the way we do everything. And how will we respond? With more fear or with love and understanding? In the busy, frenetic pace of our post-COVID lives, perhaps this is the most difficult practice of all. Indeed, maybe one of the gifts of this pandemic, if we are not on the front lines, is the invitation to simply breathe and slow down. Perhaps then, meditation in whatever form we practice can simply guide us back to the love that we already are. So this morning, I'd like to begin with a moving and singing meditation. The song is called Peace Before Us. And some of you probably know it. It's pretty simple. And Doug is going to accompany us on the guitar. Sorry, I forgot to introduce him earlier, my beloved husband and partner. And so I invite you to come to a standing position wherever you are. Have your feet about hip width apart and take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, just feel that sense of your feet settling into the ground. In yoga, we call this pose mountain pose. And so feel the solidity, the majesty of a mountain in your body. And imagine that you are growing deep roots out of your feet into the ground. And as you breathe in, breathe in that nurturing energy from Mother Earth into your body, and as you breathe out, just allow some of the tension to release. And you might imagine that we're still all in a circle together. We're standing in a circle. And like a forest, we are all deeply connected by our roots. So the song is fairly simple. I'm going to just go over the words and the actions once, and then we'll add in the guitar and the music. So it's peace before us as you bring your arms forward, peace behind us as you take your arms back, peace under our feet. So this is where you get to do some yoga and see if you can touch the ground. And then peace within us, peace over us, reach up into the sky and let all around us be peace. Just those beautiful words. So I'll just give a little bit of an introduction. And you can even start to sway a little bit. Let yourself relax and enjoy it. Let's do peace again. Peace. 
still. Just enjoying the peace, the silence. stillness. Feel your roots to Mother Earth. Feel your roots connected to others. Feel the simplicity of your own breath. And feel the one breath breathing us all. And when you're ready, coming to a seated position, Whatever is comfortable for you, whether that's sitting in a chair or sitting on a cushion on the floor, if that's your practice. If you're sitting in a chair, see if you can plant your feet on the floor to feel really grounded and connected. Try to maintain a nice, tall and upright spine. But most of all, be comfortable in your body. So we're going to move into a practice of listening to the bell. I find myself equally at home in at least two different spiritual communities. One is the community of Christ, and the other is the Plum Village Buddhist community of Thich Nhat Hanh. At Plum Village retreats, we always start our meditation with the sound of a bell. And in the meditation hall, it's a big singing bowl that seems to ripple all through your body when it's sounded. And Thich Nhat Hanh often invites us to listen with every cell of our body. I bought this singing bowl when I was in Nepal. We were in Pokhara at the foothills of the Himalayas. And it was a shop with all in every kind of type of singing bowl that you can imagine from very small to very large and i must have spent about an hour in that store trying out all the different bowls and tones and finally this bowl spoke to me and chose me and they say that that's the way it is that we don't choose the bowl that it chooses and when I went up to pay for it, the man behind the counter told me, in Nepal, we believe that the singing bowl contains the very voice of God. And so as you listen to three sounds of my singing bowl this morning, perhaps you can imagine you two are listening to the voice of God, or the great mystery, or however and whomever you recognize.
to take a moment to make any last adjustments you need to be comfortable so that you can begin to settle into the stillness of this meditation. Imagine once more that we are sitting together in a circle, unified by our longing for peace, peace within, peace between each other, and peace for the world. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, again, feel the solidity of the earth beneath you. Feel the weight of your body settling into your chair or your cushion or whatever you're sitting on. And know that just like a child is held by her mother or father or grandmother, that you too are held and supported by Mother Earth. Allow yourself to simply breathe and let go and let be. At a time when so many of us cannot hug or hold the ones we love, trust in the invisible arms that are holding you, holding all of us in this moment. And if you like, take one hand to your heart center, the center of your chest, a gentle, loving touch of blessing to yourself. Acknowledge your kind and compassionate heart. Feel and breathe the moment here. When you're ready, relax your hand back down. And begin to bring awareness to the breath. The breath in you as the very source of life itself. Perhaps feel the delicate touch of breath in and out through your nostrils. comfortable closing your eyes and just listening to my voice, continuing to feel the breath in and out. Softening your face, relaxing any tension in your jaw. Follow the journey of your breath all the way in and down into your belly. And as you breathe in, feel the belly gently expand. And as you breathe out, feel the belly gently soften and release. Following your own natural rhythm, no force, no strain, just the breath being received into the softness of your body.
as the breath flows in and out. Observe the movement of your mind. Thoughts come and go naturally. Release any judgment. Release any ideas of good or bad, right or wrong. And come back to the simplicity of each and every breath. To help the mind settle, you might like to add a silent word or a phrase like be here or be still. Be on the inhale, still on the exhale. As you settle into the natural rhythm of your breath, see if you can follow the exhale all the way to the still point at the end of the breath. Perhaps lingering a bit longer in that space before the inhale arises out of that stillness. Be still rest in that still place Bring awareness now to the feeling of breath in your heart center. Feel the chest rising and falling. Perhaps even sensing your own heartbeat in touch with the heartbeat of the universe. Soft eyes, soft face, soft smile, soft mind, soft heart. Let focus go. Imagine thoughts floating as easily as clouds 
in a clear blue sky. Continuing to breathe and listen to your heart, what it might have to say to you. Feel how each breath creates a little bit more space in your heart center. And each time you breathe out, let it soften and release, both physically and emotionally. Let each breath be like gentle spring rain, penetrating the rich and tender soil of your heart. Be still Be aware of any feelings that may arise and move through you. Acknowledge them. Tend to them. And gently let them go. Find presence in the simplicity of your breath. Begin to feel thoughts and feelings melting into the background. And just keep tuning in to the flow of breath and space and softness in your heart. Be still. As you breathe, imagine a spark of light 
in your heart. Perhaps a tiny flicker of a candle flame. That same light that dwells in all hearts. And with each breath, imagine that candle flame growing brighter and brighter, filling your entire body and spilling out beyond into our circle in an ever-expanding circle of light. Shine this global heart light to all healthcare workers all over the world, working tirelessly to bring care and healing to others. Shine this global heart light to all frontline workers everywhere, working to keep their communities running as best as possible. Shine this global heart light out to our vulnerable elders, our parents, our grandparents, who are lonely and isolated wherever they are. Shine this global heart light to those who are sick and dying alone without a loved one to hold their hand. Shine this global heart light out to those who are longing to be with those loved ones who are sick and dying alone. Shine this global heart light out to children and youth unable to attend school and sporting events, music lessons, missing their friends, missing out on education. Shine this global heart light out to young people just starting out in university or in careers, now facing uncertain education or job prospects. Shine this global heart light to those who are struggling financially and have lost their income or their business and can no longer feed themselves or their family. Shine this global heart light to those who are lonely, confused, depressed, anxious, angry, perhaps suicidal. Shine this global heart light to vulnerable women and children living in violent, abusive homes where they do not feel safe. Shine this global heart light to those who are living on the streets, to those living in war-torn countries, in refugee camps, poverty-stricken slums, places where there is no water to wash their hands, no health care. Shine this global heart light on the way we have consumed and ravaged the earth with our own greed and consumption. And let this global heart light shed light on a new and kinder, sustainable way forward of treating the earth as a living, breathing being she is. Shine this global heart light back on this tiny coronavirus that has prevent, presented us with the possibility of change and transformation of all the habits and patterns in our lives that prevent us from living from a loving and caring heart. 
all the ways we turn away from those who are different or in need, all the structures and systems that create inequality and oppression all over the world. So let us shine this global heart light forward into a future that looks so uncertain, yet is filled with so much possibility for a new way of inhabiting our lives and a new way of inhabiting this planet. Each of us are called to be the heart light in our own small corner of the world, wherever we are, yet knowing we are all part of this great global heart light that shines in and through everyone and everything. Light before us, light behind us, light under our feet, light within us. Light over us. Let all around us be light. Let your light shine. Namaste. Thank you for joining us this morning. And thank you to those who will be listening later. Please tune back in at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time when Ariana is going to share about her experience in the Honduras. Thank you.